Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our free header and footer for a Divi's co-working space layout pack. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So the first thing we need to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So once you get here, you want to scroll down and click on get it for free today. Enter your email address click on download and then download the files. So you can see here on the bottom of my screen, our file has downloaded, but it's zipped. So we need to go in and unzip this file. So I'm going to click show in finder and here it is in my folder. So I'm going to double click on it to unzip it. So now we have uh, this folder here. So we need to go in here because this is the file that we're going to need to use. So I'm just going to pull this to the side for now and then go on to our website. All right, so I'm in my WordPress admin dashboard. So the first thing I need to do is to scroll all the way down here and hover over where it says Divi and click on Theme Builder. So in the Theme Builder here, we need to click on Portability. And now it's time to import that file that we unzipped. So I'm going to click here on Import. So let me show you that where that file is again. So this is the file that I unzipped. So I'm just going to drag it over here. And then making sure override the default website template is selected and allow import to override existing assignments is checked. I'm going to click on import DV theme builder templates. So this has now installed our header and footer. But before I can go ahead and show you what this header and footer looks like, why don't we open our website and see what it looks like before we make these changes. So as you can see here, we don't have any design here on the header. And then when I scroll down all the way to the bottom, we also don't have any design here on the bottom. So now let's go ahead and save and see the change that happens to our header and footer. So now that everything is saved, I'm going to come over here now and refresh. And now we have our header and footer. I know right now we may not be able to see it because we have it all the way here in the corner. So when you click on it, it expands and shows us all this information here and links to all our pages. Then when I close, it closes like that. And then when I scroll all the way down to the bottom here, we can see we have a detailed footer, which has our address, the phone number, uh, all our links and everything that we need on a footer. So basically, this is how we install it. So let's say you want to um, customize it and make it look like your own design. How do you go about it? OK, so that's what we're going to do next. So to do that, we're going to come over here to our theme builder. So let's start with our global header. So I'm going to click on this pencil icon. So let's start with our main uh, section settings. So I'm going to click here. So if you want to see what has been updated here, you click these three little dots and then you can go on to view modified styles. So this will take you directly into all the styles. So here we can see that uh, we have uh, some padding and we also have some CSS code and uh, Z index. So there isn't much really to change here, but if you wanted to change anything, it would be the color here, but we're going to leave this as it is. Next, let me show you how to change your logo. So over here in the top, I'm going to click on this gear icon. So right now we have this image here as our logo, but if you wanted to change this, all you have to do is to click in here and uh, this opens your media library. And this is where you can scroll through and find your logo. So the logo I am going to go with is this one right here. I'm going to select that, click upload an image. And now we can see that our logo here has been updated. And you also want to make sure that uh, your logo links to your homepage. So I'm going to click here on use dynamic content and select homepage link. So every time this is clicked, it will take you to the homepage. It doesn't matter what page you are. So I'm going to save this. Next, let's take a look at all these links that we have here. So let's click here on this gear icon. And this is going to take us into our blurb settings. So what you want to do here, first of all, is to change your titles. So you can change this, for example, to home. And you can see here it has updated. And over here, you can add your description for what is on the home page. But if you don't want any descriptions there, you can just get rid of it by deleting it over here. But the most important thing is to make sure you come over here to the link and add your link over here. OK, so you want to make sure you add your link. Otherwise, this will not go anywhere. So once you're done, you hit save and pretty much that is how you update all your links over here. Now let's take a look at our header. So for now, I'm just going to discard and exit. Now let's go into 
the footer. So I'm going to click on this pencil icon. It's going to take us into our footer. So just like before, this opens up in our builder. So the first thing we're going to do is to take a look at our section settings. So over here, we can go to our background and change our background color. So let's say you have a different color on your brand ring. You can just come over here and change that background color. So you can see as I am moving through here, my color is changing. So let's say you want to go with a really dark gray. You can just update it like that and save. But for now, we're going to leave it as black. Next, we're going to take a look at this copy here. And this is where, of course, you can go ahead and delete it. Or you can edit this to match what your design is about. So over here on the design tab, we can uh, also go into this text and make further customizations. So let's say you have a totally different font. You can come over here, change the font to uh, whatever font that matches your brand. And uh, you can also add your weight here, increase the size and so on. But for now, we're going to leave it as it is. So I'm going to close out of here. Next, let's um, adjust our address here. So I'm going to click on this gear icon to go into my text set settings. And here is our heading three. So if you wanted to customize this, make it bigger, whatever, what you need to do is to click here on this paintbrush tool. And this will take you into our heading three. And now you can increase the size. So perhaps you want it at 20. That is how you increase it. And also the address itself, you can go in here, change the font, maybe change it to Poppins as well. And you can see here it's been updated. And if you wanted to change the colors as well, you can change the colors in here just like that. So it's important that you go in and uh, change your colors, the sizes to match the whole website. All right, so I'm going to close out of here. So the address, the phone number, email is done the same way. Now let's take a look at our social media icon. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon. This now is going to take us into our social media follow settings. So, so far we have Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and also MySpace. But you know what? We don't use MySpace anymore, so we might as well get rid of this. So to get rid of it, you just want to click here on this trash icon and it's gone. Now, let's say you wanted to add your own links. So what you do is you duplicate this one here. You click on the gear icon, click on the drop down, and this now will take you to uh, your other network. So I'm going to choose Instagram. Now with Instagram selected, you can now, first of all, add a link here. So let's add a blank link. And this link should go to your social media profile page. So over here, you can go and remove that background. So let's click black, back over here, right click. And to remove that, we can just reset item styles. And now you can see the background is gone. So make sure you go in and link to your social media profiles. All right, so moving on, let's take a look at this area right here. So let's close out our social media icons. So this is where you want to go into your row settings. So in your row settings here, you can see we have our four columns, one, two, three, and four. So if we go to our background here, we can change our color. So this is where you can update your colors. So at the moment it's set to white, but you can change it to whatever color you want. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it as white, close out of here. Next, let's take a look and see how we can change this text. So to do that, we're going to click on this gear icon and this is going to take us into our text settings. So let's say you have something else which is not formulas. You can just come over here and update it by just typing in here like that. And you can see by just typing Mac, it has been updated here as well. Okay, that's great. I'm going to close out of here. And now we also have this divider. So to change that, I'm going to come over here, click on design, line, and we can change the color here. So you can see as I'm cycling through these colors, it is changing. You can also uh, change the size by coming over here to sizing. So at the moment, the font weight is five. You can increase it and the width can also be increased. You can see here it's getting longer and uh, let's adjust the font weight as well. So now we can see I've just uh, made it longer, but it's up to you how you want to have it. So I'm going to close out of here again. And these are the links here. You have to go into them individually and also link them. So I have this visitor here. So you can change this to whatever you want. So let's say this is called visitors. That's just a minor update. And then over here on the link, this is where you need to add your link. So this needs to link to the visitors page. And once you're done with that, you can come over here to design text 
And if you want to make changes to this text, you can change it over here. So you can change the, the colors. So as I'm cycling through this, you can see my colors are updating here. So you can update your colors as well over here. So I'm going to close out of here. So now let's go into our email opt-in. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon. Now, what is important here is to make sure that you connect this with your email service provider. So I'm going to click here on email account. So we have quite a few service providers here. When I click on this drop down, it shows us the whole list. So what you want to do is to choose yours. So I use Fluent CRM, so I'll choose Fluent CRM. I would select my list here, but this needs to be done beforehand. And then over here on the success action, you can decide what you want to have. Do you want to have a message? You can type your message here, but if you want to have a thank you page or a redirect, you can just click on this drop down and uh, choose redirect to custom URL. And this is where you would paste it. Now, this custom URL needs to be, if it's on your website, you need to create it beforehand. But if it's an external website, you can just paste it in here. Now, once all that is connected, every time someone signs up, they will be added onto your email list. All right, so I'm gonna close out of here. And then finally, we have this last part here of this footer. And again, to make changes to that, first of all, the background can be changed in the row settings. And if I come over here to background, you can see this is where the color is. I can change it like that, or I can just make it whatever color I want. So make sure you match it with your color. All right, so I'm going to close out of here. And uh, the text here is in this text settings. And again, you can add to your company here. So you can see here it says 20 by 2020. Let's change this to 2021. And uh, you can add your company name by typing over here. Now, once you type it, it then updates here and pretty much you have your footer. All right, so that's all you need to do to update this. Now, what I'm going to do is to close out of here and discard an exit because I don't want to make any changes to this. So in order for us to see this design uh, with its uh, header and footer, let's select a pre-made layout which has this layout pack. So we're going to come over here to pages, click on add new. I'm going to call this page co. Uh, use DV Builder. All right, so what I'm going to do next is to choose a pre-made layout and I'm going to search. So now we have our layout pack for our co-working space and we're just going to go with a landing page here. Use this layout. Okay, so now that our layout has been installed, I'm just going to save this and view the page. So this is our final design. So we have our logo here in the top and this is our navigation. So when I click on it, you can see it has all my links and when I close it, it just closes. And then if I go all the way down here, you can see that um, the design works with our header and footer. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.